you don't speak French. It's a problem. Well, I'm going to take a class, but je parle un peu français already. Well, perhaps it's better not to try. Hey, Steve, how's it going? Congratulations on being the winner for the 11 Second Club competition this month. Really enjoyable work. I really like how you've managed to get these birds that are in simple shape to have a lot of appeal and exciting animation. So, yeah, great stuff. Thank you for that. So as I'm going to be giving you some feedback and critique in this piece, I just want to let you know a little bit about me, who I am. My name is Michael Morgan, and I've been animating in the industry since 2000. So since 2000, I've been animating in video games, TV, commercials, films, whether it's features or visual effects. And all that is um, through character performance and creature performance. So yeah, that's me in a nutshell. And yeah, let's have a look at your work and we'll take it from there. So first off, I really like this camera creep, camera creeping in. So you got your character center frame. Have the eyes looking at us. So you got some really cool eye darts here. So the eye darts are working well. So it makes us feel like this character stays center, right down the middle of the frame, like I said. Kind of actually looking not directly down the barrel of the camera, should I say, but slightly off to the side, which is really cool. You have your eye dart to allow us to see that you're analyzing, you're looking at something, checking it out. Then we see these brows sort of come down and we feel this, the brows move first, then the character rotates down like this, which is working well, it's good. And then what I like is you stretch out the mouth in order to get the, the sound coming out. So you prepare the mouth before the sound comes out, which is really good. It lets us know that this character is about to express himself. I'm going to turn the volume down. Nice shaking of the head. Getting really internal with the blink here. So when you're doing this, it really feels like the character is deep in thought while they're speaking. Head up, comes down. It's a nice contrast. And what's really good about this is you're actually working with just a bouncing ball. This is just a ball yet you're able to bring appeal. And that's one of the things that's hard if you've got something so simple. How do you make sure that it feels appealing and entertaining? And throughout the whole piece, you're able to bring that. So this is a sign of how I can, I can see that you're, you've got a good understanding of animation, and strong understanding of how to create appeal. Okay, so thank you for that. Then you've got your character bringing up the wings here to put the hands up onto the table. The only thing I would say is it feels like it's very symmetrical. It's just slightly higher, so it's a little bit offset. But overall, it feels very symmetrical. It even feels like the hands come down exactly the same time. So you might want to try play with it, see what it would be like if you offset these, offset the hands. Now it might feel a bit did a bit over overplayed, but when we have everything coming up, twin in, come down, twin in, it just feels a bit too basically 
like it's twinning and it feels too symmetrical. Okay. Even these eyes and the coming up, they feel exactly the same. The lids, this is all right, they're very, I guess it's because of this, the shadow here kind of gives it that nice asymmetry there. They're slightly different, but it's got this overall feeling of symmetrical. Now, to be fair, with a rig like this, this looks like a character from the Pixar movie, The Birds. It's got that very basic, like I said, ramble. There's not much you can do in the sense of, I don't know if this rig can get very asymmetrical, but you want to do things to play with the asymmetry. Now what you have here with the hair, which is really good, this plays with that asymmetry in a sense to make sure that the silhouette itself isn't always just one straightforward looking silhouette. It's got something about it that makes it feel a little bit asymmetrical. Okay. The eyes. So going back to this, I also like the way open up to emphasize, you know, this is going to be a problem, problem, you know, really open up the eyes and then come down with this Garfield, really heavy lids, unimpressed look, the mouth, you have a nice asymmetry to the mouth, so that's working really well, okay, you also have the body becomes still, but the hair is still moving over the cup. So not everything's dead. And it's paused. It's like the body might be paused, but then you got the bit of the hair, the feathers on the head still moving after. So it's a delayed reaction. As you know, the overlap and the drag. So that's really good. I like how you play with the glasses as well. They react to the face. So the body moves up. The glasses are going down. And then they come after. When the body drops down, the glasses drop after. So you've got that delayed response. You know, so nothing feels like it's stuck on the face. You've got a nice drag and delay. Okay, so all that's working well. Characters big in the scene, very imposing. And then you have the next character who, who we're talking to, the little one here. Small in the frame, center again. Even though you might look and go, this looks very symmetrical again. You have played with the hands to make them asymmetrical. A slight difference in the eyes, doing what we can to add that asymmetry. The character's more tilted, more on this side of the chair than this side, so we've got more space there. So you're doing things to stage it so it's not a symmetrical scene. You've got the light coming in there. So you've got a window, you're balancing. So you're also showing that you have a nice understanding of how to stage a scene. So it's nice. So we can see the character being this low in the frame, the power dynamics. And this character looks down, starts thinking about the response. Looks up. Now what I like here is the squash. In order to get up onto the table, you have to blink, squash down, and then you got his hand pressing on there. Pop up. Nice drag there. Smear. Comes up. Very nice with the asymmetry. This like, drag. This pop coming up. Tilted towards us. Really nice the way your character comes in. 
lands. So, oh shoot, comes back up. Shifts away over to this side and does a nice tilt and away. Your character's math is fully open here and expressive. Works really well. So, you have a good way, like I said earlier, just making sure that that bouncing ball with a very simple mouth as well, because we're not going to get all the E's, I's, O's, and U's, but what we get in here is a nice, clear understanding of how to, in a simple form, in a simple way, create and make the audience see that, you know what, I believe that this character is speaking. Okay? Now I can't see all the mouth shapes, but I honestly believe it because you know where to open, close, how much to keep the mouth compressed or exaggerated expression. So let's just have a look at this. I'll improve Francais already. Already. So already. You know not to try to get it moving like this where it's too much. You know how to get clean and clear. So, already so it's not already you're not you're not moving the jaw too much basically okay because with a beak there's no teeth i'm not sure if there's a tongue no you've got a tongue yes so, oh. so what's nice is you've got the tongue already so you're showing us that you don't need the teeth in order to make us read and believe that the lip sync's working okay so this is working well and i like how you're using the closing of the eyes to really make us believe that the characters are internally expressing themselves okay so when they're closing the eyes we feel like they're thinking and then they deliver the line it's not just okay this character just reading off a script we believe them because we can feel that emotion, like the asymmetry that you've got in the, I like the asymmetry you've got in the hands, or the feathers, the wings. Francais already. I like Francais already. So I like this gesture here. The confidence that in there, and then the delivery, open, open it up like this, works well. Nice open up of the character. And then the smile on the face. They're very happy with themselves. And then this look is priceless. The unimpressed look of the person here. Ready. Well, perhaps it's better not to try. It's kind of like a defeated look. <sighs> better not to try. And it works so well. Let's step forward here. Perhaps it's better not to try. And it's like, I just haven't got anything to say here. So she just goes back. I like the rotation that you have in the jaw, bringing the mouth around. And then that look, that priceless look up. <sighs> Okay then. So overall, really nice work. I like the staging. You know, it's great. You've got all of it rendered up, looking and presented well. The characters have a nice dynamic back and forth play between them. So yes, Steve, really nice work. So once again, congratulations and... Look forward to seeing more work from you in the future.